Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Do appreciate it. Heading up to Costco because 10 days of deals starts on the 20th. 10 days of deals starts on the 20th. And one of those deals is on Pegg's favorite chocolate. We're going to give you all those details coming up here in a little bit. Uh, if it starts to rain, it's a beautiful fall day here in northern Indiana. Uh, and I kid. Yeah, I really kid. It, it, it is really raining hard sometimes here. So we're just dealing with it. We may have to sit in the parking lot for a couple of minutes till the rain lets up. I'm um, going to get gas first, too, because gas is 20 cents a gallon cheaper here than across the street. Um, before we get into our video, though, love for you to hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification button below. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. So pulling into Costco now, they don't open up for about another 10 minutes. That gives me time to get gas at the gas pump. And again, 20 cents a gallon cheaper here than across the street. So... Uh, why not fill up here? And then we'll go in and talk 10 days of deals at Costco starting on the 20th. So got gas uh, and again, 20 cents a gallon cheaper here, uh, $1.79 here compared to, I think it was 207 across the street. So almost 25 cents a gallon cheaper. I had to actually cut off the video because she says I'm a bad driver and I tried to cut across pumps. Only reason I did that was because there was an open pump and I wanted to get to it. We're getting ready to wait for Costco to open up. The doors are still shut. They're going to open up in here in about five minutes. So as I always say on something like this, it's open, open, open. Now, do you remember that commercial back in the day? Open, open, open. Uh, if you remember who did that, well, let us know below in the comments. Uh, I can tell you, but I'm not going to until our next video. But uh, it was back in the 90s, I remember the uh, commercial for a department store that did that. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Costco to open up so we can go in and talk deals, deals, deals. So uh, hang tight, and we should be in there in about five minutes. Um, not your time, our time. So in the front, we had a sign that says there's no toilet paper and paper towels and wipes. And there is none. I had to come back here just to verify. Steve had to do something in the front. But if you actually look, this is the first time our Costco which was fully stocked last week and the week before and the week before that. So there is no paper products, as you see. So it is gone. I just overheard someone that they said they've been out since Thursday. Yeah. So they've been out since Thursday? That's what someone said. Okay. Yeah, see, they've got the industrial paper towels. And then down further, they've got the industrial toilet paper. So what am I getting, two? Uh, three. That's right, we've got kids at home, don't we? Yes. Three. You know, people have asked, why do I get water bottles? It's because our water at home tastes like crap. That's the bottom line. It's all about taste. And even though we have a softener, it still doesn't change the taste of the water. Let's go that way. Go that way? Yeah, okay. Because people back there trying to find paper towels. Yeah, they, they didn't read the sign coming in. Big sign coming in. We're out. Someone at my work told me about this. And I asked Peg about it. And she said, yeah, it's it's really a thing. And I'm like, really? Poo-pourri? Yeah. Poo-pourri. It's like unreal. You put it in the in the turlet before you use the turlet. Boil it. So that's what poo-pourri is right there. And that's exactly what it's called. It's called poopery and right now it is uh 17 dollars 16.99 for three uh package of three jars and right now you can get it for well i guess uh starting on the uh, 20th you can get it for four dollars off so you get that 450 four, off 450 off okay mm -hmm. i'll tell you if you've got uncle ernie coming over for thanksgiving this might be something to get and put in your bathroom just saying speaking of thanksgiving there has been warnings out there. Please keep your gatherings at a minimum or people yeah. you know. Yeah, keep it in your own social circle if you can. Yeah. The other thing is, is our governor in our state has uh, reissued the mask mandate, and they're actually putting teeth into it from what I hear. Um, I know that Costco says you can't come in without a mask, and I hope they enforce that. Um, but our governor is saying if... Uh, if you get caught three times, if your business gets caught three times letting people in your business or letting your employees go without masks. If you get caught by the state three times doing that, they'll shut your business down for 24 hours. Uh, to me, uh, they should have done that a long time ago. Uh, the mask mandate's in place for everybody's safety. Okay. 
So if you've got uh, people coming over for your holiday dinner, uh, the Kirkland Signature uh, Plate Combo Pack, 50 count, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's right now $9.99. Goes on sale on the uh, 20th, uh, $3 off, so you'll get it for $6.99. You get the big plates, you get the small plates, 50 count pack. That's a pretty good deal if you've got people coming over for the holiday. They also look like they're really sturdy. Oh yeah, I mean, feel these things, honey. Look at these. They're hard plastic rather than uh, the uh, cheap cardboard that a lot of them come in. That's hard plastic. Or the cheap paper that leaks through. Yes. So this one will not leak through. Like if you're going to put turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, uh, stuffing, vegetable all on one plate. Bigger plates. There you go. Saves your dishwasher too. Just toss them. I also have heard of people rewashing them and reusing them later. No, on. no, no, not, not in my world. Sorry. I have heard people have done that. I know people have, but not in my world. So after you get the uh, plates, the plastic plates, when I get the plastic cups to go along with it, Chinette's going to go on sale, eight fifty nine right now, and then on the twentieth for the holiday, it's going to go on sale, and that's going to be two dollars and what sixty cents off? Is that what it says? Two sixty off the eight fifty nine, and I'm not going to do the math because I'll screw it up. But uh, there you go, you get the uh, 150 plastic cups, 8.59 now, um, and then you get it uh, 260 off coming up on the 20th. So it's about six bucks. Yeah, about six bucks, but I'm not gonna do the math because I'll screw the math up. We haven't bought this in the last couple of times we've here uh, been here because the kids haven't asked for it, but they've now asked for it, so we're going to get ham. And that's actually not a bad price. Uh, $9.99 for two one, uh, two one and a half pound packs of ham, so make sure Peg checks the date because I don't have the right glasses on. Where's the date on that? There's got to be a date on there somewhere. January 8th. Oh yeah, we'll go through that by then. So there we go, get, getting ham. And we also like their lower salt bacon, but they still don't have any. And yes, we check every time we come here because we're wishing for lower salt bacon. And that, this lower salt bacon here is actually really, really good. I mean, they do have bacon, they just don't have the lower salt bacon. Chocolate is another thing that is going to go on sale. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Water pecan meltaways. <laughs> these things are so good. These things, I'm not going to get them, but these things are so good. I'm just saying that you can get them. Or right now, $9.99. They go on sale uh, two fifty off coming up on the 20th. So $9.99 minus two fifty. what? About seven fifty. Seven fifty. yeah. Thanks for doing the math. I want chocolate though. But Peg's favorite chocolate in the world is Godiva. And Godiva is going on sale. Now Ghirardelli, the Ghirardelli peppermint. Oh, we're gonna get this today, by the way. No, no we're not. We're not. It goes on this sale, right? Yep. This so goes on sale in uh, in three days or four days. Three twenty five off. So right now it's eleven ninety nine. So eight ninety nine minus uh, 25 cents, so seven, seven seventy four. is that right? Am 11, I close? Eight, eight, eight. No, eight seventy. Eight seventy five. Eight seventy five. Okay, I told you. I, can't, three, eight. I told you I can't do math today. Okay. So, so yeah. three twenty five off. Of eleven ninety nine. Uh, and that starts again on the twentieth. So the uh, Gir uh, Ghirardelli peppermint bark stores. Not only Peg likes those, but the kids love those too. This is Steve was wrong. Godiva is not my favorite chocolate. This is actually my favorite chocolate during the holidays. I was trying to give you credit for something that I really like. Okay. Okay, now let's go over and see the Godiva because that goes on sale too. Is that the right Godiva? No, no, no. Further down. Further down? They don't have it yet? They might not have it yet. They do have Godiva, but I don't think I they've got the right one yet. Godiva Masterpieces. Nope, I don't see it yet. No, that's quite the bummer. I mean, they've got the gold box, but I don't see the Masterpieces. All right, well, Godiva goes on sale, too. And how much does Godiva go on sale for? 
It's going to be two sixty off. What's it's the regular the price? Dark chocolate hearts. Yeah, yes, well, that's your favorite. I know. You know me. I'm not a dark chocolate person. I love dark chocolate. What's the what's the regular price on that? I, uh, it does not stay. Just says two fifty off. Two sixty off. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna look for that next week when we're here. That's going in the cart next week, along with your uh, your Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares. These are actually on sale right now. My kids love these, and the uh, sale price is going to go through the 22nd. Three dollars off the uh, mini chicken wontons, the three-pound bag. I like pork wontons. The kids like the chicken wontons. Uh, Nine ninety-nine right now. Three dollars off. Six ninety-nine. You can feed the feed the kids two or three times with just a bag of these things, and they're really easy to make. You just pan fry them, and uh, so easy to make. And and actually, a little bit of soy sauce, so good. But again, I like the pork ones. The kids like the chicken ones. I think you like the chicken ones too. Yeah, but you so you can also cheat and do this in wonton soup if you want to. Oh yeah, if you if you do uh, chicken broth and make your own wonton soup, you can put these in wonton soup. Andy's done that a couple of times, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes, he has. Do you want to get two of them, please? I can do that. Seeing as how we can't get toilet paper and paper towels, might as well get wontons. That's a hell of a combination, isn't it? Um, we tried this once, the orange chicken. It's not bad, it's just hard to make. So Peg, it, it tastes really, really good, but Peg says it's a, a little difficult to make. As a working parent, I like to make really quick and easy meals. So this is not a quick and easy meal. No, but it's actually really good if you've got some time. So just saying. So we looked at the sale items this week and all the uh, flyers that came out. The uh, best price for soda this week is uh, Costco. I haven't checked Sam's price, but they're normally comparable. Ten eighty nine for a thirteen or a thirty five pack rather of, uh, of soda. Uh, do I need to get one or no? No, we have five twelve packs at home right now. So we're good right now. But th this is the best price this week anyway for soda. Just check your flyers because a lot of times it goes on sale either three for ten or four for ten for the twelve packs. So these go on sale on the 20th as well, the haagen Peppermint Bark Cookie Squares. Um, I do like haagen I do like Peppermint Bark. I've never tried the Cookie Squares, so we'll probably get these next week when they go on sale. Uh, right now it's $11.99. They're going to be $3.50 off uh, coming up on the 20th. So uh, $11.99 would be like, what, $10.49, I think. that, Or I'm sorry, $7.49, right? 11 no, minus no, 3 is 8, 99 minus 50 is 849. I told you I can't do math today. 849. When have I ever been able to really do math in my head? So that's a good price. Yes, I'm the math person. He is not. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the product person. You're the number person. So if you're on keto or even a limited uh, keto diet, a lot of people are talking about this Kerrygold um, imported Irish butter. Uh, is good on keto, and it goes on sale uh, again on the 20th, four dollars off uh, for that uh, 12.99 price. So it'll be 8.99 for uh, Kerrygold. Uh, again, if you're on a keto or a limited keto diet, uh, apparently everybody's talking that this stuff is good for that. Another thing that I uh, have in your freezer that's quick and easy to make are these mini chicken egg rolls that they've got here at Costco. Uh, 9.79 right now. Coming up on the 20th, $4 off that $9.79 price, so $5.79 for the mini egg rolls, 50 count mini egg rolls. That's a really good price. I could use that in my air fryer. Yeah, we're going to try that too. Peg bought an air fryer last week when we were here, so she wants to try something in it. And make. We haven't even used it yet, have we? We will. Hope so. Do you doubt me? Sometimes. Okay. Have we opened up those pans we bought six months ago yet? I am cleaning up the closet. Oh, okay. Love Do you here. not see the items going to Goodwill? One of the things that we go through a lot in our house is Philadelphia cream cheese, especially on bagels. And I've got everybody home. All my boys are coming home for Thanksgiving. And uh, they'll go through a lot of cream cheese. So we'll probably get this next week when we're here. Seven ninety nine for the three-pound tub right now. But next week, $2 off, so you get it for five ninety nine. We will go through a three-pound tub when the boys are all home. So everybody has their preference on what kind of rice they like. We like this one right here. I've always liked this one here. They didn't have it in stock for quite a while. 
and I'm afraid they're going to start putting limits on things again, like rice and material. So I'm actually going to get two. We will go through rice and that much rice in a couple months' time. So me, I'm not stocking up on it for stocking up on it. We will go through all that rice. I'm waiting to see what kind of limits go back on because I have the feeling that with all the spike in the cases actually across the country that people are going to start panic buying again and you're going to start seeing um, you're going to start seeing uh, limits get put back on things like rice and uh, essential baking supplies and and uh, paper towel. Well, if they're out of paper towels and toilet paper here, so I'll guarantee there'll be a limit on that when they get those restocked again, hopefully soon. But uh, I have the feeling that you're going to see uh, you're going to see a lot of limits get put on things uh, coming up here in the near future. I think that does it for food, right, hon? Uh, no, I always want more bread. Uh, no, I'm not going to get bread here. Okay. Um, if I've got everybody home, which I will next week for Thanksgiving, then I'll get the double loaf. But right now, I'll just get a loaf at uh, Kroger when we go over. Uh, so we're done with food, right? Yes. So let's go over and take a look and see what's on the other side here. A lot of TVs are going on sale, uh, going on sale for Black Friday and Thanksgiving. Your best deal, though, on TVs is not now. Your best deal is going into the Super Bowl, believe it or not. That's when they have the best deals on TV. A little player piano there. Interesting. So we wanted to look at over here a couple of different things. This is a Ninja Foodie. It's a pressure cooker air fryer. Let's see if I can pull it down. Yeah, let's pull it down and take a look at it. This is what it looks like. It's basically an air fryer, but also a pressure cooker. And I think there's a pan that goes in there that's not here. But uh, it's 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 all pro it's all programmable. So right now, 149.99 is what this costs. What's it go on sale for? Thirty dollars off, so you get it for 119.99. So that's the Ninja Foodie, uh, the uh, Foodie pressure cooker. So on sale again on the 20th in a couple of days for 119.99. Right now, 149.99. So I've seen people that have used these. I never have, but this is an immersion blender, uh, the Cuisinart immersion blender. Uh, right now it goes on, it's a $34.99, but it goes on sale $10 off coming up on the 20th. So you get that for $24.99. Again, I've never used one before, but I know people that have them and swear by them. So there you go. You just put it down and it turns whatever, you, whatever you've got into a blender. It also comes with a little storage thing too. This is what they use for milkshakes. This yeah. is what the kids should be using for milkshakes versus our Ninja. Oh, they like the Ninja though. So another Cuisinart item that they've got on sale going on starting the 20th here at Costco is the uh, Cuisinart food processor, the Elite Diecast food processor. This is it, and I can't pull this one down. I like to pull it down, but I can't pull this one down. It's all locked in. But it comes with different accoutrements, uh, even a spatula. But uh, here is your food processor, $199.99 right now. But if you wait until the 20th to get it, you're going to get the sale price. Um, and the sale price is how much, honey? $50 off. So you'll get the Cuisinart for $149.99. Again, wait until the 20th and you'll get it then. But what we just told somebody that was looking at a different thing, that if you buy it now and you bring your receipt back, they'll give you the difference, the sale price difference back. So you can buy it today if you want. And just when it goes on sale, bring your receipt back and they'll give you your money back. So this one slices, kneads, chops, shreds, emulsify, and purees. I'm glad you said emulsify correctly. <laughs> I can never say that word right. So if you don't have enough table space this holiday season, we've actually got this one at home. It's a six foot fold in half table uh, from Lifetime Products, $49.99 now. But if you wait till the 20th, you'll get that for $10 off. So you get it for $39.99. It's a great uh, space saver, I guess I should say. We've got one at home right now and uh, we've used it quite a bit. 
So right now it's $149.99. You'll get it for $30 off uh, come the 20th, so you get it for $119.99. Um, good security system to have at home. We had one on our old house. I love the fact that it connects with my phone so that uh, if my doorbell rings, I can just answer it with my phone rather than actually having to go to the door. Or if I'm away, I can see who's at the door ringing the doorbell. And the one thing with the security cameras, and this will take the place of the security camera, is that you can see when packages are delivered. Oh yeah, my kids, uh, they hate it when mom texts them and say, hey, there's a package at the door. Can you go get it for us? So that's what happens at my house. Well, it's not our package, it's Alex's package. Exactly, he's the one that buys everything right now. He's the, he's the buyer in the family. So as we wrap up things here at Costco, a couple of things I want to point out. Um, one of the things is Costco, uh, I know that there's a state mask mandate that goes into place tomorrow, but Costco is taking it just a little bit further. They're saying you cannot get into Costco starting tomorrow, at least ours anyway, and I think it's going to be that way all over, either without a face mask or if you cannot wear a face mask, you have to wear a face shield, one or the other. If you don't have either, they won't let you in or they'll ask you to leave one or the other. And I did ask one of the employees here if they're going to enforce it, and they said, yes, they are going to enforce it. So we'll see if they actually do or not. The other thing is, is when we walked into Costco today, this is something we've not seen at Costco before, but they're out of uh, paper towels. They're out of toilet paper. They're out of disinfectant wipes, which they've been out of disinfectant wipes for a while, but we've never seen them at least in the last couple of months be out of toilet paper and paper towels. So they are out of those. And what Peg said that she heard somebody uh, overheard somebody say they've been out since Thursday here. So uh, we're looking at shortages again. So stock up, but don't go stupid. All right. Don't get 25 packages of toilet paper, the big packages, and then try and figure out what to do with them after the fact. The sale items start, we're on the blue pages here. The sale items, they start on the 20th. Um, and there's a lot more things in here that we did not talk about. Um, so if you've got the flyer, then you'll get a good idea, but it's all online as well, isn't it, hon? Yes, it is. So you can grab and check and see what it's all online. What, what we looked at was stuff that we thought was actually kind of interesting, but there's a lot more in here. So make sure you look online to see stuff that you might think is interesting as well. As always, we do appreciate you watching our videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button below if you like the video. We'd also love for you to hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification button below. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. As always, we appreciate you watching. Thanks.